Our top story this midday, lawyers representing more than 600 school districts are back in court to debate public school spending. Now a judge will decide whether a ruling he made almost a year ago that the system is unconstitutional will stand. KV's Tina Shively is live at the Travis County Courthouse with more. Tina. Judge John Dietz began today's hearing with a quote from Yogi Berra. It feels like deja vu all over again. It's being called round two in the battle over public school financing with no end in sight. Now, it all started back in 2011 when close to 600 Texas school districts claimed the legislature violated the state constitution by making it impossible for them to offer an adequate education. Why? Well, lawmakers cut $5.4 billion from the state's education budget. Last February, Judge Dietz agreed and ruled that the way Texas funds schools is both inadequate and inequitable in three areas. First, equity. Each child gets the same amount regardless of their zip code. Adequacy, are districts receiving enough money for what the state education system asks them to do? And third, in taxes, do districts have enough tax capacity to run their education programs? Lawmakers listened, restored $3.4 billion, and drastically cut the number of standardized tests required to graduate from 15 down to 5. Educators tell me they need even more resources to make sure that Texas students can be successful. The really important part of this case is that we recognize that we have high standards in Texas. We have not reduced those standards by reducing tests, and that in order to meet those standards, we're going to have to have additional resources. And Judge Dietz issued an oral report last February stating that Texas needs to spend $2,000 more per student per year to meet goals set for our students. That's approximately $10 billion more per year for education. Now, the testimony here is scheduled to take three weeks. Whether Judge Dietz decides that his ruling is unconstitutional, whether the system should stay the way it is or whether it should change, the decision will likely go to the Supreme Court and they will make the final choice. At the Travis County Courthouse, Tina Shively, KV News Midday.